Video number 63 using cubic regression. We're going to estimate the weight of a fish given a length, and we're going to estimate the length given the weight. So the first thing we're going to do is enter in this data into the graphing calculator. So what we're going to do is you're going to press the stat button, then we're going to press enter on edit, and we're going to edit this data, enter it in, enter the length into L1 and the weight into L2. Once we've done that, so press pause if you need to, once you've done that, now we're going to uh, press stat, then we're going to press to the right and press calculate, we're going to go down to cubic regression, press enter, we're going to put L1 comma L2 comma Y1, so variables, press to the right, press enter on function, and press enter on Y1. Then we're going to press enter one more time, no matter which calculator you have. Now, this equation here, the calculator estimated for us, is in Y1. Okay, then what we're going to do for part one is it says estimate the weight of a 50 inch fish. Well, inches is the X value. They want the weight. So we're going to go to the calculator. We're going to press graph. Now before we graph, look at the domain, 0 to 40, and then the range is 0 to 160. So press window. I actually went 0 to 80 and then 0 to 300. I just doubled the largest amount. So uh, we press graph. There's our equation. If we want to find the weight when X is 50, we're going to put, um, we're going to press second, calculate, value, when X is 50, press enter, and we get a Y value of about 232 inches. Then for the second part, how long would a four pound fish be? Well, four pounds is about 64 ounces, so we're going to go to Y2 and put a 64 in there. And when we graph, we're going to get an intersection point. It'll be the first intersection point because this would be uh, before our data starts, and this would be well after the weight of the fish has gone down. So right there, our intersection point. Second, the trace button, which is the calculate menu. Intersection, first curve, yes. Second curve, yes. Take a guess, scroll all the way over, and press enter one more time. And then the estimated length would be about 30 inches. So I hope this helps you out, and good times.